Y'all, five seconds of Summer Rooney. They are a band that honestly, I know a lot of people like, but just back in the day when they were opening up for One Direction, I was honestly like, who, like, who is this? Is, is this like a new, another form of Good Charlotte? Is this like a new Simple Plan? Is this a new The Fray? Like, who's Five Seconds of Summer? And then I got to listen to their music and I was still like, who's Five Seconds of Summer? They were in Toronto for their own tour and I remember, I don't, like, Honestly, even to this day, I don't even know where they performed. It could have beats me where they were damn performing. It could have been the damn streets of Toronto on the sidewalk at Young and Dundas being like, she looks so good standing there in her I'm hanging out one night with my friend Daniela. Daniela is literally one of my best friends and we're just, it was literally your casual of just like, just chilling, like, on Amazon, what's up? Like, hey, how's it going? Like, we're just chilling, like. So we're driving around, or we're at McDonald's, or we're at her house, we're at my house, we're somewhere. And I'm getting a text from my, uh, my celebrity hunter meeting friends downtown. And they're texting me, they're like, hey, like, are you sure you don't want to come down and meet Five Sauce? Like, we're all here, and like, we were just told by their management that they're gonna be coming out and meeting fans. And me and Danielle look at each other, we're like, honestly, like, we're already kind of like in the car, just like dilly dallying around, driving around, like, damn losers, bubblegum dumbs, while everybody's partying, and we're just like, hi, can I have um, a 12 piece nugget meal, please? So I look at her, I'm like, yeah, do you wanna go meet this band? She's like, honestly, I might as well go meet Damn Simple Plan. I was like, I know, true, but like, it gives us something to do, and like, we'll go see like the, we'll go see like all our friends and stuff, and then it, we'll go downtown, whatever, we'll chill, we'll, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, let's go downtown. She's like, honestly, like, yeah. It was like a Friday night, or maybe it was a Thursday night, or maybe even a Saturday night. So we're in the car, and I'm like, and we're like, okay, like, we're just like talking, and I'm like, okay, who's who? Like, who's, you know what I mean? Like, who are these, like, who are the band members in this damn band? Like, obviously, we know Liam, we know Louie, we know Zane, we know Niall, we know Harry. But then there's this band that got their name from One Direction, but still to this day, I'm like, who? We get downtown to their hotel. Inside of the hotel, there's this huge tour bus parked, it's just one tour bus. It's just parked there, it's on, like the driver's there, and all the fans are aligned in this kind of like path. Like the the fans were like they aligned themselves in the sense where like there was still like a path for the for the band to like walk out of the hotel and make their way into the tour bus. But with walking, they kind of are like forced to interact with the fans because the fans were all like one side, one side, and then like they would have to walk through, whatever. Before that, we knew kind of who Five Sauce was and everybody obviously like, whether you know them or not, like a band in general, you're gonna have a favorite. Like who's hotter, who's not. We kind of, on our drive, we're like looking at I and I knew this whole time that I liked Luke the most. He's like the hot one, like he's the one where you would like walk by on the street and you would do like a double take, you like, oh. We're kind of more there to hang out and see our friends and like kind of kill time and like just, you know what I mean? Like just we weren't doing anything in the first place so we are like, let's go downtown. So we get there and Danielle's like, I want Ashton. Like I like Ashton and I'm like, okay, well I want Luke. So we are like, okay, let's do what we have to do. Well, all the fans are there and obviously we're letting the fans go first because like the fans, whatever. And if there was extra time or extra space somewhere, like we would kind of like maneuver our way through. So what happens is one by one they start coming out and you could only imagine the screams for this band. I was still so shook how many fans were there and like a lot of the fans I was talking to them traveled and I was like okay like I didn't know they were that big of a deal like I understand they opened up for One Direction like One Direction you would travel for. Michael comes out taking pictures everybody's like ah Michael I'm like okay well now he's kind of done taking pictures with everybody let me just maneuver I get my selfie. Then Callum walks out Everyone's doing the exact same thing. Like, Callum, oh my god, like, we love you so much. Like, you're so iconic. Like, you're so mesmerizing. You're so memorable. Like, you're gonna be, like, a star legend. And I'm like, Ant, try again, because these are legends and five sauce. Like, you're not really legendary. I'm so sorry. And so, they get pictures. Then Luke comes out. And a lot of people like Luke. Like, Luke is, like, I personally would say that Luke is kind of, like, the runner of the band. So, Luke comes out, and, uh, at, like, the whole entire damn street is chanting his name like when I say chanting they're acting like literally Barack Obama is leaving this hotel even though this hotel isn't even that damn of a five star it's like a dinky damn just hotel that's just mossing on the street he comes out and everyone's like look 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 and then I'm like oh he looks stunning like he looked amazing like oh my god like heart eye emoji so I kind of like maneuver my way in there and I, there was like this section where it was just like, it was kind of like people who were passing by the sidewalk would, would just like linger there and see who's coming through. So obviously they were fans, so I, or they weren't fans. So I kind of like was like, excuse pa, like, and they were like, like looking like, why are you moving? I mean, I'm like, try damn again and back up. So I go, Luke. And he like looks at me, I'm like, 
hi, like, oh my god, like, I'm absolutely obsessed. And obviously I was maybe ex exaggerating a little bit because I'm, like, not obsessed. And I'm like, Luke, like, I'm absolutely obsessed. He's like, ha ha ha, thanks, mate. And then I was like, can we get, like, a selfie? He's like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's get a selfie. And I was like, oh my god, like, I just want to say, like, you're... <laughs> I do this thing where... I Honestly, like if I not that knowledgeable about a certain artist or band that I'll pretend to fake that I went to their show just so I could get like just so there's something to talk about. So I go, Luke, like I absolutely love the show. Like it was so good. Like you guys did an amazing job. Like you guys really put on like a good performance. He's like, man, you actually enjoyed it. And I was like, oh, absolutely. Like I was singing my lungs out. Um, is that like the, the term you say, singing your lungs out? I was like, yeah, I was absolutely singing my lungs out. He's like, I'm so glad you had fun. I'm like, me too. Little does he know, I don't know any of his their music. I, like, imagine like he he looked at me in the eyes. He's like, what's your favorite song? I would literally go, love you like a love song. And then Ashton comes out. They saved Ashton for last, which Ant tried damn again. It should have been the other way around. Luke last, Ashton third. And then there was like this section, like kind of like where I was for Luke. Like it kind of just like, it wasn't a thing anymore. Like they kind of blocked it off. And then I was like, okay, well I want like four out of four as a band, right? Like I'm already getting everybody. So I get, there was like this part, like it was like a ramp and then they would have to walk down the stairs and then like maneuver their way from the sidewalk to the tour bus. So I get on the ramp. I swear their manager looked like, this guy is literally psychotic, and I'm like, no, 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 I'm not. I just need a cute damn self -faroony. So I get on this, like, ramp thing, and I'm, like, literally, like, standing on it, holding onto the handlebars of, like, the ramp, because, like, the second I let go, I'm like, whoa. And I'm like, okay, how is this gonna work? I'm like, okay, like, I need one hand to hold the ra the, the, the ramp, or the uh, railing, the railing, the railing. I need one hand to hold the railing. I need the other hand to take my selfie, but I need my good hand to take my selfie because the second I use my left hand, the picture's gonna be blurry, or it's gonna be like, poof, phone falls, like, hey, and then Ashton goes, eh, sucks to be you. He comes out, and I'm like, oh my god, Ashton, I literally go, Ashton, I'm about to fall off this dinky ass ramp. Can we get a selfie before I, before I damn break my damn skull? He starts laughing, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He like takes a picture, and I'm like, um, I love you so much, like your show was amazing. He's like, oh, I'm so glad you had fun. I'm like, yeah, okay, well, anyways, I have to go rest in peace right now because I'm about to fall. Like, the second I let go of this ramp, I'm like, whoa. I go up to Danielle, I'm like, Danielle, did you get everybody? She's like, who? She's like, George, I'm literally right behind watching this. Literally, like, time is ticking, let's go. Like, what are we even doing here? Like, who even is this? I think she got, like, a selfie with probably, like, her favorite, which was Ashton. She probably did. I'm sure she did. We were being very shady, and, I, and I'm being very shady right now explaining the situation of the band, because, like, Five Seconds of Summer are actually, like, super underrated, talented, like, pop, punk, rock kind of people. Their music is really good. I wish they kind of like, especially Youngblood. I think honestly that that song deserves so much more in, at the end of 2018. And even in the summer, I swear Youngblood should have been released. And maybe it was released in the summer. If it wasn't, then it should have been. Anyways, this is the end of my video. For anybody who's damn watching it, if anybody can do it, TTYLs.